Hey, 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 it's Bessie LB and I am back again with another product review. Today is going to be all about dogs, okay? I'm trying to give you guys more reviews on dog products just because I know there's a lot of, a lot of animal lovers out there as far as dogs, cats, things of that nature. So, I am reviewing Vets Best Nature's Health Care. So, this is a enzymatic toothpaste okay and it is veterinarian formulated approved things of that nature so this is what the toothpaste look like you guys might have seen this if you are um a dog owner i don't believe that it's oh yeah it's formulated for dogs so i'm sure they have a cat formula as well but you probably saw this in petco pet smart things of that uh nature so this is a gently uh cleaning for plaque and tartar and it freshens breath and is formulated for dogs this particular flavor is made with neem oil and enzymes okay so i got my baby obama this and i got him another toothpaste i believe that one's arm and hammer that one comes in flavors so there's chicken beef and maybe like a third one fish or something like that i know it's weird and it is kind of weird because that one actually smells exactly what it says that it is so to me it's a little weird because it's kind of it's clean in the teeth but i'm looking for the fresh breath situation as well so it's kind of weird because it's like it's clean in his teeth but his breath smells like beef it's a little weird so this is the second one that I also ordered at the same time just to compare. I do love that it's made here in the U.S. And I do love that it's pretty simple. Um, doesn't have much of a smell. It doesn't have like that strong minty smell that they would have for us. But it doesn't have a lot of the neem oil smell either. I don't know if you guys ever smelled neem oil. That can be really strong in smell. And this one doesn't really have too much of it. Now, if you can see here, it does have like a clear, as you can see, like a clear uh, jelly type thing. And it's usually not that bad um, when it comes to... I guess the taste, I thought that it would be something that he'd like turn his head away from. But when I brush his teeth with this, you guys can see it now because I kind of left some on the cap. But when I brush his teeth with this, he doesn't give me like all the fuss and the commotion with brushing his teeth versus brushing his teeth with the beef flavored one. He does love the beef flavored one, obviously, because it's like beef. But with this one, I thought maybe he'd give me a little bit of trouble and he doesn't. So fast forward, no, rewind. <laughs> Obama, when I got him at four months, I tried to introduce the whole teeth brushing thing. He was not feeling it. He was not interested. He was just like, you never about to brush my teeth. Like, I don't know whose teeth you bought the brush, but it ain't finna be mine, okay? And so I just was like, whatever. But from there, I always use like dental wipes some dental treats that he would eat i would add additive to his water i even came across a couple years now this sea kemp which is like kind of like seaweed and it breaks down tart and build up all the stuff i would do all this stuff for his teeth and then just back this march he had to go and actually get a couple teeth removed now i was so emotional about it because I literally thought that I had failed myself failed him and I thought that I caused his teeth to have to be removed he never had teeth removed before this so he had to get four teeth removed there was about three in the front one in the back a molar and I was just devastated I was just like I don't understand like what did I do wrong whatever so the vet's just like uh oh, don't worry about it like certain breeds are just prone to periodontal gum disease and we just see that his gums are starting to recede a little bit and those particular teeth are um just a little loose didn't seem that loose to me but again i'm not like all up in his mouth 24 7 right so i was just like oh okay so i went and i got a second opinion and they confirmed that those few teeth were loose whatever the case may be fast forward 
he ended up getting those teeth removed in March and I proceeded to try to brush his teeth again. So I got this toothpaste and I got the other toothpaste. And I've been, they suggested to brush his teeth about three to four days a week. Now vets understand guys that you just can't brush your teeth, your dog's teeth every day. If you can, kudos to you. But they recommend at minimum three to four times a week. So I usually do every other day, okay? And you give them some sort of insensitive if you're going to use this toothpaste or any other toothpaste just to brush their teeth. Give them some insensitives to want you to brush your teeth. So now he affiliates this orange toothbrush that I pull out and he knows. Gotta get your, brush, your teeth brush. And then I put on this harness and then he knows we're going on a walk, right? So that's been the kind of like a reward of like we're going on a walk if you let me brush your teeth so that's what i've been doing for him now as far as this product i can definitely say that i would probably order this one again over ordering the other one just because to me the other one is literally like a treat and i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm not saying that it's ruining his teeth or anything like that it is helping just like i would say that this toothpaste is helping but the thing is it's like, even when he gives me kisses and stuff, it's just like, I don't want your breath smelling like beef after I just sat here and had to go through this whole motion <laughs> of brushing your teeth. Now, I do still give it to him, whatever. But I think I would just stick to this one. And he just has to understand that his reward to get his teeth brushed is to simply go outside, right? Like, I'm not about to climb mountains for this thing. Now, I would recommend this one because I do feel like this one's a bit more cleaner in ingredients okay so it contains glycerin aloe pectin neem and oil grapefruit seed extract sodium uh big carb bunny which is basically um bacon soda guys uh and then there's the enzymes and natural flavors and that's it everything in here is natural it supports your pets dental hygiene cleans away the plaque like i said it brightens their teeth and all of that good stuff now i can tell you when they removed his teeth they did do a cleaning as well and his teeth was spick and span he normally gets a professional cleaning anyways that's another thing he gets a professional cleaning um at least once a year if i can't afford twice cool but at least once a year and then in between i try to take care of his teeth i can say since march we're now mid june he doesn't have any like tartar buildup, plaque, anything like that. And he never normally has it like that bad anyway. But I can definitely say since I've been brushing his teeth the three to four times a day, I mean a week, sorry, um, I can see a difference. I can definitely see a difference. And again, I do use this toothpaste a bit more than I use the other one. So I can tell you that I feel like this works. It's definitely worth the money. It's a little bit more um, costly than the other brand, but there's a purpose for that, right? So I would highly recommend this for you guys' dogs and to keep up with their teeth. And honestly, I know, again, it's difficult to be trying to clean a freaking animal's mouth. But if you really can, it will save you in the long run. Uh, luckily, I have insurance for my dog, so getting the teeth removed was fine. It, my insurance covered, you know, basically all of it. But if you want your dog to live longer, I know you probably heard this before, but a lot of the health problems that dogs develop is because their mouth is off. You know, if they develop these gum diseases and their teeth starts falling out and all this stuff, it can affect their liver, all these other things, their kidneys, all this different stuff, okay? It can affect them. And you guys have to be aware of that. So if you really are thriving to have your dog live as long as your dog can possibly live, on top of obviously giving them a clean diet, having them go outside, walks, whatever please keep up with their mouth because that is very, very important when it comes to the overall health of the dog, okay? So I would recommend this product. Try with this. Get a toothbrush, whether it's for the finger or it's the stick toothbrush. They even say that you can use children's toothbrushes on um, dogs. It's perfect. But please try to brush your dog's teeth. So try this product out. Let me know what you think in the comments if you do.